This is the video blog too of Emo Screamo Productions. Uh, we went to a show last week, which was the Four Letter Live CD release show, one of them. They had like five. We were in one of them, thankfully, and it was at the warehouse in Lacrosse. Um, also, because the CD, as I said, came out. Bam! Shazam! That's the thing. What a terrible Ooh, thing. Let me zoom in on that one. I can't. Never mind. <laughs> what a terrible thing to say. Um, it's it's great. You can tell they've grown. Vocals, Brian and Kevin, they still got it going on. Like, big fan. I couldn't really name a favorite, favorite song. I like them all. Um, I don't speak to dead men. That one, superb. I just, I just love it. So you should go out and buy it because it came out February 19th. But you should buy it if you don't already have it. It's, it's definitely a good hit for this this year. Uh, the CD release show was awesome. It was fantastic. We got there as usual early. <laughs> See, because Cassie's driving, which Cassie's man in camera again. Heaven isn't here. Heaven didn't go to the show. Heaven kind of doesn't exist as of late. <laughs> so, oh, the person that is. So, yeah, but we have Cassie Man in the camera. She's sick, so probably won't hear much from her, but she's also become Wilson because took a video of her at the show. All you could see were like her eyes and above. So, she's now, if you're familiar with Home Improvement, Wilson. Anyways, back to that show last week. We left. I like, came down to Appleton, so we left Appleton instead of Green Bay. Went down, it's like three and a half hour drive. Stopped at our usual stop in Toma. Then got there and I was like, hey, it's not even three o'clock and we're here, Cassie. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's okay. Not no. my fault, <laughs> not my fault. So, you know, like, what are we gonna do? Cause it's cold, I mean, like, it's the middle of February, so it's cold weather out there. You can't really walk around. If it was warmer, you could go by, down by the river and, you know, just <laughs> chill there. I don't know. But there wasn't much to do. So I got to have Perkins and I got my muffin that I wanted, which sucked. Perkins muffins in Alaska suck. So <laughs> they're kind of stale. So yeah, we just tooled around for three hours in line, which felt like a tool as usual. Um, but it was good times. Like we watched videos and we waited, and conversation outside the venue from other people waiting in line is hilarious. I know you shouldn't eavesdrop, but I'm one of those people who will sit there and like kind of buzz in on a conversation because if you're talking loud enough for me to hear you, obviously I'm gonna listen to it. So I know I don't know if Cassie felt this way, but I felt mighty old at times because like these kids are talking like. They're nice kids and all, but they're talking about like, oh, I get my driver's license or I get my like, permit on like Tuesday next week. And, and I'm like, I've been driving for six years and you know, I'm almost done with college. I've got a year to go, a year and a half, whatever happens with that. But uh, yeah, and these kids are just, you know, fresh. So felt kind of dated at times. And it was also funny to hear them pointing people out on posters, like the poster in the warehouse from different bands and saying, he's really hot and I totally want to marry him. I don't know his name or anything, but what bands he's from, he's so cute. Oh my goodness. And it's like, oh yeah, yeah, to be, to be 15 again. But, you know, there's more to it than just, yeah, they are good looking guys, but it's the music. Anyways, so yeah, the show, it was, uh, write this down, means, Killian's Fault, Emiliana, and of course, the Four Letter Live. I can't complain about one damn band that was there. Like, they were all amazing. It was $9 for the show, and I probably would have paid like twice that, if not more, to go. Because sometimes you go to a show and you have like, you know, mediocre bands to get to like the band you really, were, really, really were coming to see. No. I was floored by all of them. I would see them all numerous times again. First thing we went in, and all the bands were amazing, and whatnot. And because they're so amazing, this is probably gonna be like a two-parter episode because YouTube only allows you to have ten minutes. I doubt this is gonna be under ten minutes because I want to give you a little preview of like each of the bands, you know, so you can hear what they sound like. Um, we took video before Letter Latin Killian's about too, and we'll 
have that in the video probably towards the end, like a little collage of all the videos together. I wanted to get the other band aid, but my memory card and my camera fails. I gotta get a new one. It only lets you have so much time, and I wanna be able to take pictures. So, anyways, we'll start off with Emiliana. And they got on stage, and I like stand there, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready for this, you know, stand up there. And, uh, yeah, Andy busted out that voice of his, and I was, holy shit, like, ooh. I looked at Cassie, I was like, damn, boys got a voice, like, yeah, it, it was, I, I don't even know, I just, I just loved it, no, I mean, like, they were a good band, I mean, they were great, I had a great time, like, just a good way to start out the, the whole night, but, holy, wow, good job, I, I love your voice, I love your voice, um, so, yeah, they just, you know, like, you could see, like, a lot of the kids were really involved in it, and they had a good fan base there already, um, so, you'll get to listen to, like, a few seconds of them playing, not live, but just so you know, just check them out on your MySpace, and all that good stuff. Oh, uh, then we had write this down, get on stage, which they have really good stage presence too. Like they do, they get on there and they're like, we're gonna do our thing. We're gonna, you know, make sure that everyone gets involved. And I was getting thrown around <coughs> a little bit, which is fine. I don't mind being thrown around. It's, it's cool. Talk about those lights. Oh yes, the lights. Your lighting. Oh my god, it was cool. Except they were like lighting. Like I was like, shit, where am I? Sunglasses, you know, like I almost busted out my bug eyed sunglasses because you're standing there and all of a sudden it's like they're getting ready to go out and it's like BAM! And I'm like, oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? I can hear them, but I can't see them. So, uh, yeah, but I did like the lights. Like, I like yeah, the they lights. They, they added something to the whole mix. I did approve of the lights. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It was good. And then we had Needs, who's from Canada, and they're kick-ass, like, you know, their they're lead vocalist gets on there, and he's just like, nah, like, I have a picture you'll see probably later when you listen to him, but, um, and, like, you look at him, and it's just like, you can see, like, every vein in his, like, neck just mm -hmm. popping, now that's intense, you know, and I was left kind of deaf at the end of that one for a little bit, because it was just, like, it was just so loud, but I loved it, I don't even know. I want them to come back. I really do. I want to see them again because I really enjoyed them. And I didn't really know much about memes until that night. But they ended up being one of like, yeah, I, I liked memes. I talked to Cassie about memes. <coughs> um, I would check them out if I were you. I, like I said, all these bands, check them out. So then we get to Killian's Fall, which we saw them before. Um, talked about them before in the last video and how good they were. <coughs> Wilson needs to cough. <laughs> I'm just dying. Keep going. <laughs> um, so, you know, like I had said before, they were great and you can't deny that. They, you can tell they like what they're doing and they're into their music. And They had some technical difficulties, which, you know what, they still were able to kill it because it didn't really matter, you know, they still got on there and they still did their thing. And then after th everything got fixed, they managed to go rest away. And also their CD came out, and um, I wanted to pick it up at the show, but I had no cash on me. So I don't have that one yet, but I would highly check that out because you won't be disappointed with that CD either. So that came out, um, like, that Friday or whatever. They had it out. They are trying to sell it. So... Yeah, it enjoyed it a lot. It took a few of them, which you'll see later on. <laughs> and then we get on to the big encore.